Hello everyone, I'm Crash Bandicoot and you're not. Well, it's official. Trojan, the worldwide leader in condom technology, announced today that the company has developed the world's thinnest skin condom to date. And, and, it will market the new condom after the thinnest skin man to ever run for president of the United States of America. Donald J. Trump. Oh my god. What's next? We gotta make, name a condom after Obama? <laughs> anyway. Anyway, the new Trojan Ultra Thin Skin Scumbag will be available for a limited time only and will be sold exclusively to novelty shops and truck stops nationwide. The Scumbag will come in two different shades of orange, regular and extra dark, and will be marketed towards, quote, the small hands kind of guy. The new Trojan Ultra Thin Skin Scumbag will compete against other similar Trump novelty condoms currently flooding the marketplace, while also Offering consumers a high standard of protection, smaller men will now have a quality product to help them overcome their fear of pregnancies and STDs, while still delivering the highest sensitivity the condom market has ever seen. Speaking of President Trump, in other news today, he has reportedly assured New Jersey Governor Chris Christie that despite recent reports, he has not been banished from his inner circle, and instead will be nominated to the Supreme Food Court. Oh my god. Oh lord, dear lord mate. Quote, Mr. Trump decided it would be humorous to have his little, quote, Christy Cream, <clears throat> his new Secret Service name, according to insiders around, so it created a special position just for him, end quote, says Trump's longtime attorney slash bankruptcy expert, <laughs> David Friedman. Oh my god, what kind of a name is that? The report says that in selecting Christie, the Donald will be bringing in a Yes, I'll have another man that won't clash with his oversized portly ego. Quote, I think Mr. Trump wants Christie around just so he can humiliate him. End quote, says Trump's chief financial officer, Alan Weiselberg. Quote, and he knows he'll do whatever he says whenever he says to do it. Oh my god. Just when you thought the administration couldn't get any worse. This is getting worse by the day, mate. I'm telling you, mates. These sucks. And now, in entertainment news, in a shocking turn of events, actress Joyce Taylor has finally broken her silence and proclaimed, quote, I was not sexually harassed by Harvey Weinstein, end quote. This news comes on the heels of multiple allegations published by the New York Times against the once beloved Hollywood executive. According to Miss Tyler, she met Weinstein at a Hollywood nightclub at the age of 19. As the night progressed, she became increasingly intoxicated and found herself alone with the alleged serial harasser. In a sworn statement given to officials, Miss Tyler states, quote, Why was I not sexually assaulted by Mr. Weinstein? Was I not pretty enough? Did I do something wrong? I mean, I may have been a bit overweight. Was I not worthy of being assaulted? These are all feelings I have struggled with since that fateful night. It is presumed that there are even more Joyce Taylors out there, possibly millions, waiting to tell their story of not being assaulted by Weinstein. However, as of press time, we were unable to find any additional known victims. This development only leads to more confusion surrounding the multitude of accusers suggesting that they had, in fact, been sexually assaulted by Mr. Weinstein. Oh, Lord. Oh, my God. Now, this is messed up, mate. Seriously, what the fudge? On a serious note, I know we're making jokes about whole, this whole, uh, news thing, but come on. Harvey Weinstein, you are a piece of crap. I never liked you and I never will. So, bite me, scumbag. And finally this evening, the Trump administration has launched a, quote, Black Beans Matter campaign in support of Goya Foods, whose top executive was criticized last week for supporting President Trump. The campaign is focused on increasing sales of Mexican-owned Goya food brands, as well as securing Latino votes for the upcoming election. Critics of the president have been calling for a boycott of Goya after its CEO stated, Quote, we are all truly blessed at the same time to have a leader like President Trump, who is a builder, at a White House event. He continued, quote, he came to this country to build, to grow, to prosper. And so, we have an incredible builder, and we pray for our leadership, our president, 
and we pray for our country that we will continue to prosper and to grow. Oh please. First of all, this Trump guy is a punk. He ain't no leader, he ain't no builder. Crikey, Steve Irwin could be a much better president than that son of a gun. Anyway, that's all the time we have for 7 News. I'm Crash Bandicoot, and remember, stay classy New England. Good night everyone.